Hello folks and welcome back to Papa Bear Outdoors. This is yours truly Papa Bear with you today and it is finally here. It is the much anticipated day of departure. We are heading west to the Ozark Mountains, the Spring River in Mammoth Spring, Arkansas. We are so excited to head out on this trip and uh, we have got the trailer packed to the gills for this five night, six day camping trip. And hopefully folks, we'll have a whole lot of footage to show you. Me and the redhead are looking forward to this trip. We've been thinking about this for months and months. Well, to be quite truthful, we've been thinking about it since the day we left last time we were down there. But uh, we are finally getting ready to take off and uh, hopefully we'll have a whole lot of fun uh, Kanan and the family will be down tomorrow, and so we, we uh, look forward for Grayson to experience his first time actually fishing in the Spring River for trout, and we hope he catches his first trout on this trip. So y'all come along with us as we endeavor to make some Ozark Mountain memories on this trip. This is Papa Bear and Baba Lou, that redhead, with Papa Bear Outdoors. We'll see you in a few, folks. God bless you. Well, folks, we have made it. We are sitting here in the parking lot of the Walmart in Thayer, Missouri, which is right on the Thayer, Missouri, Mammoth Spring, Arkansas border. So we are uh, making a quick Walmart stop. Uh, me and the redhead is uh, no worse for wear. We've made it safely and uh, no incidents. So we are grateful to God for safe travel. So we're going to go get a few supplies here and then we're going to head to camp to set up our camp and hopefully get some fishing in this afternoon. This is Papa Bear and the Babalu with Papa Bear Outdoors. We'll see you in a few. God bless you folks. Well folks, we made it. We are here at Riverside Resort here in Mammoth Spring, Arkansas. Say hi Babalu. Folks, this is our campsite for the next five nights. And it doesn't look like much just yet. But the next time I turn this camera on, we're going to have us campsite set up. So hopefully we will, uh, we will have some fishing footage to show you. We are looking forward to this. This is Papa Bear and the Babalu, AKA that redhead at, uh, with Papa Bear Outdoors. We'll see you in a few. Hello folks, the Redhead and I are standing right here on the banks of the Spring River down here in Mammoth Spring, Arkansas. It is a beautiful day. Take a look at that river out there folks. Ain't that lovely? We have got our camp for the most part set up. Let's take a tour of it if you will. We are uh, camped at Riverside Resort here in Mammoth Spring, Arkansas. Just a lovely place to camp. Fantastic, friendly folks, and they are out here every day working to uh, keep this place clean and, and trimmed and picked up, trash pickup and everything. Very nice facility. All right, we are. We used to camp right down there next to the river and we got flooded out one year so we decided to camp on the other side of the road. But this is our normal camping spot that we like to get and we've been fortunate enough that every time we've come out we've been able to get this one since we started using this particular spot. So let's take a look at what we got here. We got our hand washing and dishwashing station right here next to our kitchen prep table right there, got a camp chef, two burner stove, also got a grill that sits on it. The grill box is removable. Over here we've got our dining area, got some Ozark Trail premium coolers right there, 73 quart, got two of those, one for food and one for drinks. We're getting ready to have us some sandwiches. Got our dining canopy under roof in case we need to uh, 
hide out from the rain. Got my lantern center, centrally located here and right over here is our waiter changing station. Also under roof or under canopy as the case may be so we can get out of the rain and hang our, uh, hang our waiters up uh, upside down so that when it does rain it doesn't rain and fill them up. The Redhead's new float tube, and then our old float tube that I repurposed. Uh, little Grayson is going to be sitting in this float tube, and uh, hopefully we'll get him on some fish. Got that set up, and got seat belts set up for him to hold him in place. He's excited about that. And last but not least, our living quarters for this five night excursion, complete with uh, elevated air mattress, little nighttime potty, and all the comforts of home right there, folks. So here we are. This is our home away from home for the next five nights. We're going to eat a little dab and then we're going to head out and go fishing and hopefully we'll have something to show you. But this is our camp for this particular trip, trying to make some Ozark Mountain memories on this trip. This is Papa Bear and the Babaloo, the Redhead. We'll see you in a bit. Well, all right, folks. I am starting down the path to the upper pool start fishing. The redhead decided she was uh, tuckered out from the camp set up. She needs a little time to rest. So she sent me on ahead to do some scouting. Then I'll come back and get her once I find the fish. Beautiful down through here. <laughs> Old familiar path. Been walking this path for five or six years now. This upper pool holds a lot of trout normally. Now these first few days, I'm gonna be catching and releasing only. And then I may take back a few toward the end of the week for some of the folks at work and friends of mine that like to eat trout every once in a while. And I may eat a couple while we're here, but just not gonna keep as many as I normally do. We're allowed five trout a day per fisherman. All right, we're coming up on that little trail. The water is it's about a foot high. Right about a foot high from where it normally runs. We've got a lot of rain all over the country this spring. And it has shown up. And over here in Arkansas as well, normally that, that tree is up out of the water some. Right. Oh, been waiting months and months to feel the sensation of the water around my waders. I'm going to start off with a KVD 1.0 square bill. That color right there. And I am using my 
Lou's Wally Marshall Pro Series. I am eight, eight foot rod and my granite 2000 reel and I've got 20 pound Pro Line braid. This is my setup that I use jig fishing below the dam. I've also been using this to catch catfish on my uh, on my pack bait rig. Just I've really been looking forward to trying to hook a trout on this eight foot rod. Uh, current's pretty fast today. Let's see what our first cast yields. All right, folks, got one on. I just lost my orange belly crawl and had to switch baits. Caught that one on the yellow perch color. There we go. Strike King KVD. 1.0 yellow perch. There we go, folks. Oh, that didn't come off on me. That's a pretty good hit right there. Feel the drag. All right, folks, we got another one on. All right, good fighter. This one's got some shoulders. Look at there, beautiful fish right there. Look at the colors on this one. All right. Thank you. May I have another? Uh, 
There we go. Nice fish. Absolutely beautiful. All right, folks. Short of losing that lure on a hang up earlier. This has been a pretty good start to the afternoon. Landed two, had the third one get off right at the end of the rod. Had, uh, had another fish get off before I got him too far. Not bad, not bad. Oh, he smacked it. Smacked it, but he didn't get it in his mouth. All right, folks, we got another one on. This is a fighter. Let him stay down. There we are. Still, I'll turn you loose. There we go. Time to go get that redhead for long here. Maybe she's rested up. There he is, folks. There, finally got a, a strike on camera. Another pretty fish. All right. All right, hold still. It's a little better size fish there. Nice. I have already landed my limit for the day. We are less than a half hour into the trip here.
Oh, oh man, did y'all see that hit right there? Man, what a hit. I love it when they pull the drag on the strike. Well, folks, this is a good start to the afternoon. Good start to the whole fishing trip. There we go, folks. There we go. Another pretty rainbow. All right, folks, I got one on pretty strong here. I'll go ahead and get my dip net out. It's on my way back to camp, working my way down, try to get the redhead involved in some of this fish. All right, just the way he was hooked. That is an absolutely beautiful fish. Look at that. Ah, Lance, the colors on this one is gorgeous. Look at this, folks. All right. go see if I can release this and there all right folks got another one on Good size one there. It's a longer one. Nice.
Here we go again, folks. Ah, come here. Not being shy for the camera. I swear, fish, if you just be still, I'll let you go. Wow. Ain't that how we do with the Lord? The Lord trying to deliver us from things, and we just want to fight against Him. He's got the, uh, got the best intentions for us, and we want to struggle and fight and thrash. Right, folks. These fish quit biting. I'll go back and get my wife and bring her fishing. Oh, he was busted. Busting it, but he never got a hold of it. That was a hang up that time, folks. Picked up some grass. Oh, shook that grass off, and then that fish hit it. Triggered a strike. See that a lot. Bass fishing. Go rip it through some grass. Trigger a strike off them fish. Oh, there he is. Did it again. Give it a little thump there and trigger the strike. Oh, look at all that. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. All right, if I keep fishing my way back, I'm never going to get my wife picked up, so let's go back and pick up that redhead and see if we can get her on some fish. No sense me being greedy. I'm going to be here for several days. All right, folks. We'll be back when we pick up the redhead. This is Papa Bear with Papa Bear Outdoors.